Hi, this is my video blog for the week that we're studying correlations. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about what to expect this week. Uh, as you move into uh, the discussion board this week after reading the chapter and, and completing the, the quiz online, uh, I've asked you to think about correlations versus causation. So uh, particularly, I wanted to, to get your mind working around this topic by considering the different correlations that that you can imagine or that you've experienced in the reading uh, or in your own practice that are associated with student achievement. And we've defined that fairly broadly for the purpose of this conversation. And then as you come back, I want you to look at what you wrote and what other people wrote and try to make some sort of determination uh, about which of those things do you think might be causal uh, and, and which are simply correlational. And I, I've also put online uh, an example of a correlation that I've used in class before that seems to not make any sense that these two things would be correlated and yet they are. And so I'd like you to use that to think about what are some of the reasons that you might find correlations where there's no causal relationship. This will be the main focus of, of thinking about the chapter, trying to apply it, thinking about how we use it uh, correlations all the time uh, in our work, how they inform our assumptions about our practice. And then one of the things I'd like to point out is that on the discussion board uh, last week, I thought by and large you did a pretty good job. The, the dialogue I thought was, was fruitful and I thought that you did a good job uh, initially laying out some of your ideas for a time series design. In the follow-up, uh, there were some good discussion in the, there was some good discussion in the follow-up as well, uh, but there were also lots of gremlins that were left unattended to. So there's there's a lot of uh, a lot in each other's ideas uh, that you could have critiqued, uh, that you could have brought a little bit more to the table for consideration as to what would make it a strong time series design or or what some of the limitations are. So I want you to keep that in mind. That's part of our natural development working on the discussion board, I'd like you to sharpen uh, your, your critique a bit uh, when you're looking at <clears throat> people's assumptions about where causation exists. I'd like you to feel free to challenge those ideas uh, and, and try to back those up from uh, either your understanding of the process itself uh, that's being discussed or, or what you've pulled from the readings. So, uh, the other thing that you'll be doing this week is you'll be, hopefully, starting to tie a bow on your first critique that you'll be turning in very soon. So, uh, you should be well along in that work uh, and, uh, and writing should be happening and uh, you should you know, be, be really at the end of this week in a fine-tuning kind of mode. If you find yourself in a starting mode, uh, then you've fallen behind. So you want to play some catch up this week, put yourself in a position to write a very nice, tight critique uh, and uh, give yourself plenty of time to be thorough uh, as you look through the article uh, and, have, uh, and have your writing be very sharp. So uh, looking forward to reading those in the near future and uh, looking forward to seeing you online. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email or, or post your question on the discussion board.